Hey, what's up guys? Another video here. So, unfortunately, this training block, I did get injured on a deadlift, so, you know, a good majority of the time, I was just kind of trying to get back, and unfortunately, my wrap squat isn't doing so well, and I'm trying to do some requisite volume, you know, 15 total volume, but, you know, I have to divide it into triples. Uh, normally, I can do it for five reps, uh, you know, if I'm fairly healthy. But, you know, nonetheless, 335, I've been able to go back up to five reps. And for bench, again, I'm starting to get back on the shirt. And I did get back into the shirt the other day. And, again, it's not going too badly. And I've been able to do the 235 pounds uh, bench singles relatively easily. And this day that you're seeing here, I actually got injured on the second single of 495. So again, I was, I think, just using way too much back. And then you see there, my back kind of caved a little bit. And then, you know, I hurt it. And then the subsequent uh, week, I was trying to really take it easy. And, you know, good thing that the bench wasn't affected too much. But, you know, for the meet in February, sorry, the meet in June, I'm actually doing bench only on Friday and then doing the full power on Saturday. And my weight is still kind of high. So... You know, the weight is kind of hovering around 158, and I have to cut to 145.5 at the competition. So, again, that's going to be really rough. So, on Friday, I'm going to be competing in the 74 uh, bench only. So, that way, you know, I don't have to cut too drastically through Friday. I just have to be of weight on Saturday afternoon. So, you know, that's another thing that I'm trying to look out for, just trying to manage the weight a little better. And, again, I'm not having any carbohydrates for uh, lunchtime. You know, usually during the week, so that's been helping. Again, I cut out. Um, you know, usually I have some kind of uh, fruit juice. It's um, is a mango nectar usually, a mango nectar. But you know, I cut that out. So only drinking water. So just trying to slowly take away things over time. And I think the next step for June is I have to significantly uh, reduce my intake of food. You know, keep the protein relatively high, but. Actually, what I've been doing recently is not using any oil. So, you know, you see here, uh, you know, I'm only doing 225 on the squat because my back was just just, just destroyed. Uh, so, you know, I couldn't proceed with a wrap squat, obviously, this day. So I just tried to do a placeholder video for uh, 225. But anyways, you know, instead of using olive oil, what, what I'm doing now is I'll just kind of set like a shallow level of water, filtered water, and then just kind of like almost just slightly boil, you know, the vegetables and add some meat. And then, you know, what I do is I just kind of ladle the the uh, water away so it's not too watery. But I think that's a, also a small shortcut, you know, not using oil during cooking. And ultimately in June, what I'll have to do is I'll have to just do, you know, what I usually do, like kind of like a, not a crash diet, but I mean, pretty much is a crash diet, but, you know, I'll just take like fresh organic spinach have a little dressing on there, you know, like a vinegar-based dressing, and then some uh, chicken tenderloin that I just reheat. I mean, it's kind of dry, but I mean, it gets the job done. But I think because cutting weight is harder these days, I have to really uh, watch out for it. And again, I'm getting kind of sick of kind of depriving myself. So I don't know, you know, how long this go. I mean, the frequency of meats that I'm going to do is going to be limited. And again, I just don't care as much anymore. So, um, you know, Actually, you see here, you know, I get back to 495, which is good. And you see a little kind of back heavy, but you know, I was really ha happy this day that, you know, I didn't injure my back. Uh, so, you know, that was a plus. But, you know, like I said, you know, cutting the weight is pretty rough. And you know, the last time I did it, I was doing the raw competition. I cut exactly 66.00. And, you know, subsequent to that, uh, well, subsequent to the weigh-in, I actually went to the bathroom and took a number two. And, you know, I could have been a little lighter. But it was really hard dropping that last few pounds. You know, I had to do the sauna and all that. And normally, you know, that's really not the optimal way to cut weight. I mean, you're going to be, you know, zapping your energy because you're in the heat um, in the sauna. But, you know, sometimes you got to go to drastic measures, especially if you're trying to make weight and it's not so easy anymore. But, you know, you know I'll just see what the future holds. I mean, I think at minimum I'll just do bench only competitions. You know, it's not so rough on the back, but, um, you know, I kind of notice like older people, older lifters, they kind of do that. But anyways, here's, you know, I'm back to uh, the wrap squad 405. 
and um, just kind of chugging along. So you see here, I just did it for a triple, and I did some multiple sets with this. Uh, I believe it was possibly four sets. And the following week, I did sets of four, and then the next uh, two weeks after that, I had to uh, do the triples. And the last week of this training block, I, I, I did the rap squat on Sunday and also Friday, which was, you know, two days ago, you know, when I'm recording this audio. It, you see here in this clip, I'm back to uh, 335. And, you know, I'm really glad that, you know, it didn't take as long to get back to this level. Uh, but, you know, 335 is just about what I'm able to do in my peak you know, for a five by five, I believe I did some, something in the 340 range, like five by five, and it was tough. But you know, that was maybe, I don't know, two, three years ago. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, you'll see in the deadlifts, I'm just trying to be really careful just dropping it because, again, um, you know, I actually had a productive conversation with the general manager. You know, he was very uh, you know, diplomatic and professional about it, as opposed to, you know, the younger female man manager that I mentioned before, just, you know, young people, they really don't know anything. They, they don't know how to be diplomatic and, you know, you know, they're just like beginning their, their jobs. And again, they have no clue on how to manage situations. So again, I'm not going to give young people too much credence because, you know, they don't know what the hell they're doing and, and they don't know how to act diplomatically. And, um, again, they're acting as if they have nothing to lose, but, you know, they actually have everything to lose because, you know, they're just starting their careers. And you see these two weird camera angles. I actually, um, was supposed to pack my other uh, tripod, but the tripod I was currently working with, it, it's just so old and it was falling apart. And again, it wasn't staying in place. So now I'm using my fresh uh, tripod and I'm gonna try to be really careful with it and, and not and toss it around too much. But anyways, you know, back to the situation, the managerial situation at the gym, you know, the female manager, you know, she's probably early twenties and has a lot of student loan debt and, you know, doesn't know what the hell is going on. By the way, this is a set of four, and I believe I did it for uh, three sets, something like that. So again, that's a little under the requisite volume of 15, but you know, you know, what can you do? But anyways, uh, you know, young people, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They have little life experience, and again, she probably has a mountain of student loan debt, and you know, I don't know why people act that way as if they have nothing to lose, but they have everything to lose because there's so much debt to pay off. Uh, but anyways. And chugging along back with 335 and again it's uh you know a good working weight and i know i'll be in good shape for the meet if i um you know continue um, um continue to to be able to do this for you know sets of five and you know because i squat or i try to squat like four times a week you know i'm not doing too much volume per day so you know, normally i would think a, a good day is maybe two working sets with 335 and then you know, I did try to get on my deadlift suit on Saturday and it was just kind of too tight because, you know, I'm significantly over my, my body weight. So I really don't know what's going to really happen um, come meet day. You know, hopefully I make weight and it's evil. I mean, I'm able to get on the suit pretty easily, but, you know, ideally I want to get that suit on, you know, prior to the meet. Otherwise I have to order a new suit just to train in. But the idea is, you know, you want to get close to, um, your body weight for competition, you know, within five pounds, you can actually fit in your stuff. But, you know, the bench shirt, you know, I didn't really have trouble getting on at all. It just fit on like normal. So I think that's a promising sign. I can continue to get the practice in the bench shirt. And I am going, going to my friend's uh, Jeff's house. And again, uh, you know, like two years ago, I did sell him all my equipment. So, uh, you know, I'm essentially lifting all my old equipment. And of course, he's um, always, uh, I mean, he's going to be handling me at the competition. So, it's really good that, you know, I have, uh, you know, a very good friend um, helping me, uh, able to help me. And then, you know, I don't have to go to, you know, a gym, and pay fees and ask people to help me. So, I mean, he'll, he'll just help me as long as uh, I tell him in, in advance. But, yeah, so, you know, when I do, for example, a set of five for 335, like for two sets, like the subsequent day, I'll have a little trouble getting um, a set of five. So, I may be doing uh, triples usually and just divide up the volume that way. Um, and again, if I'm pushing my body constantly during the week, then of course there's going to be days that are are down and some days that are up. But, uh, you know, I just take it with, you know, just uh, take it with taking a stride because, you know, obviously you're not going to be 
having the um, you know optimal strength day you know every day of the week because it's not possible. So you know here you know I think I did a triple. Yeah, so you know I'm trying to play it smart. Again, getting injured it really sets you back. And you know sure I can push out another rep, but I'm thinking of all the subsequent volume that I have to do. So um, you know sticking with triple is safer. Again, it's not optimal. I mean we are about. I don't know, nine weeks from the competition. So really have to be hitting all cylinders and, you know, just banging out sets of five for 405. And then again, I don't plan on getting in the suit because it's just so small. And again, my body weight is kind of high, but, you know, when it comes to meat, meat day, uh, you know, I'm depleted and, and, you know, a lot uh, lighter. I can just get it on uh, without a problem or, I should, you know, with, without too much of a struggle. So again, that was a, a pretty good set. Uh, of 335 uh, happy with it but uh, you'll see in the succeeding clip uh, of the raw squad you know just doing triples just trying to be safe and tr just try not to push it and you know it just depends on how i'm feeling that day and you know what i can do but you know i'm not going to kill myself before for example like a heavy like a heavier rap day um, i don't see the point in really killing yourself with intensity and volume. So this is uh, the clip I was alluding to. So that's one. And then it's going to be a triple, I believe. So two. And again, the depth is just okay, parallel at best. And um, the third one. So just, again, dividing, conquering the volume uh, with the same intensity. So um, again, just chugging along with the bench. I do it very frequently for the raw bench. So um, you know, keeping up the intensity and similar volume is important. And then, uh, my intensity training comes with the, the shorter bench. And this last session was, um, again, same volume intensity as the prior, uh, Sunday, which was four or five for three by five. So there's 15 total volume at four or five. And again, that's kind of on the low end on what, I, what I was doing in the past, but, just try and take it slow, and again, it's not optimal, but you know, what can you do? So uh, this is a 140 kilo, 308, so I'm at my buddy's Jeff's house, and again, the shirt is really hard to touch. It's my first session back in over a year, but, um, you know, getting to around two board and just seeing how it is, and it's easy to push up, so it's not, I mean, maybe two, three board. It's probably close to a three board. And here... Um, uh, yeah, this is uh, 145 kilo for uh, two singles, as low as it can go. And then, you know, each week, hopefully it'll get lower. Yeah, so that's about a two board. But again, not too incredibly hard. And because I couldn't get in deadlift suit, here's the last clip. I did 418 for uh, eight singles on the illegal stiff bar, my booty shorts. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, that's it, guys. And stay tuned for the next video.